Um, I mean, they made some adjustments the second half. It was more effort adjustments than anything. I mean, I think that, you know, if you look at the first half versus the second half, they played more too high, disguised it more. We kind of took away some um, some throws that we were throwing. And I think they challenged their up front guys to stop the run and be more physical when they did. You know, I thought their I thought their D line played hard the second half. Our execution at halftime coming out, I mean, we ran the same plays that were successful the first half. And even the first play, I mean, we it's wide open and you know, I mean there's there's a million factors why plays are successful and not. And so the for the very first play we ran like a quick outside zone play and it was a huge hole there. And, um, and boom, you know, he cut it back. Well, you look at it and you say, well, he missed the hole. Well, the snap was a little to Patrick's left, so Patrick didn't get the ball to him. And so when Boom was running this track, he kind of had to hesitate a second. And so, I mean, there's a lot of things that factored in to not hitting it, you know. If things go smooth and he hits it and he gains 30 or 40 yards like he did last time, well, we had the safeties rolling down the wrong way. And so it was even a better play. We ran it one time in the first half and it gained like 35 or 40. And then we ran the same play and we had the same exact look and even a better one because when we ran it the first half, this safety was coming down. We ran the second half, this safety, and it was rolling back that way. So it was nobody there. And so you hit that play and you never know. And that might just, that might flip the whole tide and deflate them. But we didn't. And so, I mean, and we had a holding penalty. So we get first and 20. And then, then it's a struggle to get the ball in front of the chains because, I mean, throwing the ball on third and 14, I mean, I could easily sit there and call a protection and take a sack and a, and a fumble if that's what people want. But I mean, at some point you got to take your medicine. And so the first two drives were a product of that. We had very successful first plays. You know, I mean, the first drive we gained four or five yards, so we're in a second and five. The first drive, the second play, um, the first play of the second drive, we gained like 14 or 15, and now it's first and 20. And so I think it's just a product of you know, obviously just simple execution deals, simple coaching details, and just the fact that when a couple of things go against you in situations like that and in stadiums like that, then their defense has got energy. Their stadium's got energy. And then it takes, it, then it, to, to get that momentum flipped is tough, you know, it's just tough. And so we, we tried to do it the next, we didn't, I think we got five drives the second half and, um, and four of them were three and out. And so, I mean, and in the last one, we drive for five minutes and run out the clock, so. What, what did that say to you? I mean, that's two weeks in a row where you struggled in the second half, but when you need, needed to make a drive, you, at the end of the game, you made a drive. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, I think it's just a product of everybody relaxing. I mean, not panicking. Because it's easy to panic in those situations when things aren't going your way. Because it wasn't going our way. You know, our defense is out there playing their butt off. Awesome holding them to field goals. And we go out there and we're not doing our job. And, you know, and it's just little things, you know, little bitty execution things. And it really, it wasn't really anything they were doing more than what we wasn't doing. And so, you know, when that happens, I mean, ultimately, if you just keep plugging along, then it's gonna flip, you know, just, just I mean, it's just the ebb and flow of the game. And, and it did at the end, but I mean, I think it was a product of our kids I mean, I was, I watched them close in situations like that. And none of our kids were panicking. They were relaxed. I mean, they wasn't overly joyed about it, but I mean, they were, you know, the worst thing you can do is sit there and, and, and play panic and play stress. And then it's going to go downhill. And so I thought we did a great job the last drive of going out there and understanding, look, and that's what I kept telling Patrick. I was like, you know, all we want is an opportunity at the end to either win it or run it out, you know? And, and we got that opportunity and we ran five minutes out the clock. And so, you know, I mean, I, I view it, I view it as that's probably one of the best first halves we've had, you know, versus a good team. I mean, we had 150 yards passing, 150 yards rushing. And, and we came out the second half and really was trying to execute the same stuff and just didn't, you know. And then, you know, we got behind the chains a couple times and then, but ultimately, I mean, if you're gonna look at positives, we overcame it at the end, you know, when we got an opportunity.